So today I'm going to show you the most successful way to sew a pair of point shoes for a disappearing heel. Um, a disappearing heel is basically where a student, when wearing the shoe, uh, the heel comes all the way to the end of the shoe and there is no pinch room. But then when they go up onto point, there is a little bit of pinch room on the heel. Um, what happens is they'll go up onto point, there'll be some pinch room, and the shoe will come off the end of the heel, or it'll be a little baggy, or it'll move a little bit, and then they'll come down, and because it's so snug, the heel will just pop off the back. Uh, the shoe will pop off the back of their heel, and it's a big problem. Um, and so I'm going to show you the best way to sew point shoes to make that not happen anymore. Now. Um, learning this process was an adventure in and of itself. I did a whole bunch of alterations to a student's shoes and uh, totally destroyed them with her parents' permission, but it, it still wasn't very successful. Um, and we had to call a, a fitter in, in Atlanta, who is one of the best fitters on the planet, and she showed me this method. Um, and it worked like a charm. And so from that point on, I've, I've pretty much just stuck with that method. Now, some people like to do a little bit of elastic like on the heel and they thread the, rib the ribbons through and that helps with a little bit of a disappearing heel, but my student has just a little bit more. So basically I have asked my fitter for double elastic. Um, normally when sewing the shoe, um, you would measure the elastic and stretch it and then just trim a little bit off the ends but for this sewing project I am not. Now I've let out the drawstring as much as possible um, and I'm going to use Bunhead Stitch Kit. I'll tell you what man there is literally no better needle for sewing shoes than in this kit. The thread I'm not a huge fan of um, you can use dental floss or tapestry thread, it's fine, but these needles are ungodly sharp and they've got a nice big eye, so I will always buy a Bunhead's uh, stitch kit if given the opportunity. So I'm just going to see if I can get my needle threaded. And um, I always like to double my thread. So rather than just one piece, I like to bring it all the way back down and trim it. And then sew a really, really secure sewing knot. You wrap around your fingers two times, kind of loosely, and then you're going to twist it off of your finger like that, and then just pull it. And it's gonna make this big, ugly, nasty knot, but it's gonna be really secure. So. Basically, here's how this works. I've got my elastic, um, two pieces about the same size. Now, normally when you'd sew a pair of point shoes, you would put the elastic on the inside about an inch away from the back heel seam, and you'd sew it on the inside of the shoe. For this purpose, we are going to start this elastic all the way down here at the base right where it starts from uh, the sole. So it's going to be sewn literally along this back seam of the heel like this. And I'm going to use a whip stitch so that it's nice and secure. And I am going to sew it on the outside of the shoe. It's not pretty, but I will tell you what that shoe will not come off your foot. I am gonna sew all the way through the shoe, not just the satin on the top, but all the way through the shoe. And you can see that I'm going across. That's a whip stitch. It's just a lot of extra support.
All right, so I've sewn just about as far down as I can here. I am going to continue whip stitching across here and then back up this heel seam. Um, now, if you can't quite, you see that I have a little bit of overlap, you can trim that a little bit to really get in here, or you can do a running stitch and double back a couple times. That will work as well. Um, but the goal is to actually sew the elastic to the heel of the shoe as securely as possible. So I'm going to tie a nice secure knot here. Um, I'm going to go through the fabric and tie it on the inside. Just flip the heel inside out real quick so it's out of the way. And so the best way to do this is you're going to just make a stitch and you're going to pull it almost all the way through and then you're going to take the needle and put it back through the loop that you didn't pull all the way, tighten it, and then go through one more time. And that's going to create a really, really strong sewing knot. And then I'm just going to cut that off. Right there. Tie another knot. Oops. And get ready to do the other end. Now, I have done one piece of elastic, and this is what it looks like. So like I said, it's kind of ugly, but it works. You're going to do another piece on the other side, right here. And then you're going to crisscross them the way that you would normally so, still do it on the outside, still do whip stitch all the way around, just so it has that little extra protection. But you're going to sew it in the same place that you would normally sew it. So this is the completed shoe. You can see that it's, again, not very pretty. But it is going to force the heel to stay up on the heel of the dancer but the elastic is going to let it stretch. Um, I have never had a dancer with a disappearing heel that this has not worked for. And um, this method was shown to me by the fitter in Atlanta who fits for the Atlanta Ballet. And she's pretty cool. So anyway, yep. That's it for today. See ya.